Hello! So we are here with the last part of the tutorial and here we will create the textures to apply on the hair So let's start I have the X normal open already, it's free and so here we have to load the high definition mesh that is our hair mesh groups 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 so just select and drop here and for base texture to bake select all and select the white texture uh, here okay and we have to lose the plane and cage plane here so I have the plane and the cage here with the right mouse button uh, here cage plane okay So first we will bake the depth map here in baking options uh, select like 4, 4k edge padding 16 uh, here select only the height map analyzing 4 and Select the output file like here. This one, this path is good. So I use an array. Let's wait a minute. This depth map you have to generate and after that you have to adjust the tone mapper we will open our, win our window soon so we have to bake in every hair clamp and adjust the depth for every clamp so we have to bake in a few times and save a lot of uh, a file for each clamp and merge all the, the files in the Photoshop. I will explain now. Where is the window? Here. So, let me preview mode. Teach. So here you can see the the mean and max point of the depth depth. So you have to adjust and check if you have a, a good variance in the depth. So this will not work for all the clumps. You have to do for each one. I am doing for this first. I can enable the debug. So here you can see on red is behind and blue is on top. So you adjust to have a good variance here. I think it's good for the first. Also, the second is good too. Let me see. Wow. 
Yes, it's good. So you can close. Ah, I selected the wrong path here. But oh no, it's it's here. Okay, so I have this one. I will do this, only this one, but you have to do this a few times. And for each clamp, you have to adjust the min and max point to get a good result. You have about uh, five files here, and in Photoshop, you can select each one and cut and merge all the, the clamps to get a depth for each hair clamps. So now uh, we can generate the alpha uh, alpha map uh, on edge padding put to zero map to render only the Base texture, check if the texture is white, it's okay. And you can bake. Switch and finish. This one is pretty straightforward to do. It's very easy. The most complicated map is the depth. The other ones is easy to bake okay so we have the alpha it's finished now we will generate the ig map ig map so here you have to select the the different textures here for each clamp on here like the first one I will leave white second one I will choose 25 the third one 15 oh no here here 75 the last one black that I don't have uh, where is my black no problem I create a, a black map here pretty fast. Okay, now I have a black and put here okay so 
Tipo check, id map, make basic texture. You can put 16 here again and generate. Let's wait a little. Okay, so now we have the alpha, depth, id, and for the last one, the root map, root to chip color for the hair where you have the root more black and the chip more white so here we have to load the ramp, the gradient map for all the, the groups here okay and leave the options here and click on generate so it's it you need these maps to put on wheel in the default in the full uh, hair map that you can get in the on this map here I think it's realistic character let's switch the Epic open here digital human. Here you have the hair her shader to put the maps and it's it you have the the hair the maps yes we finish with the tutorial series I hope I have helped you to achieve the a good hair result and see you soon subscribe to the channel Leave your like below and thanks for watching. Bye.